when I was rapping, like, in high school, mm -hmm. I had a song, and then I went crazy. And Glow knew them, they was rapping, but I ain't know them. And I had met them because, no, well, I knew their music, but I ain't know them personally. I just knew, like, from the same city. And I met them because Glow had paid me for a feature. But I was still in high school, like. Time out. <laughs> Wait. She always took her music career super serious. So, like, that girl was putting money behind her. Like, she always, like, was full in rapper mode. Like, so from Glow the time Rilla, I met her. Glorilla paid you for a feature. And then guess how much I was charging? A hundred dollars. <laughs>
Wait. She always took her music career super serious. So, like that girl was putting money behind her. She like she always like was full in rapper mode. Like so from Glorilla, the time I met her. Glorilla paid you for a picture. And then guess how much I was charging? A hundred dollars. <laughs> That was real money to me, though. Like, I was going back to school balling. So, wait, were, were you, like, the big dog at the time? Or? No, I just was. I was in high school, and I had, like, a live-ass song. Like, okay, Memphis is small. Mm -hmm. So, this is Memphis. Memphis is small. So, if you got a live-ass song in the city, you damn near Memphis famous. Because it, it's only Memphis. Right. Like, like... You don't got outskirts and stuff. You keep going out, it's nothing. You it's country. Memphis. You're going to be seeing horses, armadillos. You're not going to be seeing civilization, you know? <laughs> Yo, I don't think I ever even seen an armadillo like, outside of YouTube. Or like, so. You're not going to be seeing civilization. So that's all we got is right there in Memphis. So you got a live-ass trend to song in Memphis. Like, you lit. But I say I went, like, rapping, rapping, like... I, I just dropped a song in high school. I wasn't taking this shit serious. I was getting $100 for my features, $100 for my shows I was doing. Like, I was lit in school for shit show. But, like, in the city, like, I only had one song and I was a kid. So It's just my song was going so crazy. Like So was Glorilla, like, popping at the time? At no, that time? she was still, like, pushing her music. So okay. she was still, like, dropping music, linking with other artists. She was, like, from the time I met them, I know, like, studio all the time like they was really like rapping rapping like for real like they always like was rapping rapping so she hit you for a feature yeah and from there y'all just locked in How, like what yeah. happened just well I was selling her in the city so I had met Gloss because I'll go take Gloss lashes and like she'll be shopping with me so after we did the feature, like, we was still cool as hell. And she'll be shopping with me. I'll pull up at her house. And one time, I went in her house, and I met Gloss. And I already had new Gloss route because I seen her perform at a show before, at a party that I was at. And I remembered her. And so I was telling her, like, oh, I seen you one time, like, performing. And then she was like, yeah. She was like, um, I know what you're talking about. Woo -woo -woo. And then, like, after that, I got cool both of them. And then we was just going to each other's shows. Cause all of us had motion like at the time. Like they'll have a show, I have a show. We'll go to each other's shows. We uh did other songs together, all three of us. Mm -hmm. And then like that when we had eventually met the other girls because we went to this showcase and all of us performed at the showcase. And after the showcase, Hickey got all of us on the song together. But when we met them, like we instantly locked in with them. Like that was support too. Like us and we'll support them like damn that's cr isn't it crazy looking the back on everything now is it do it feel like surreal like hard yeah. to believe nah it don't feel hard to believe cause she I just be living my life but damn all my nails coming off I swear to God but it ain't hard to believe cause I just be living my life and I be thinking like it's just life like when I think of memories I be like I don't remember when it happened in my life but thinking about it on a deeper level like like where it led us that would be making me think like, damn, like these were just some girls I met selling her. Like I be thinking like, that's just what we was doing at the time. But now like, damn, we on a whole bigger scale. Like we went on tour together. Like the first time one of the songs blew, like we all like, when Elf and Elf blew, like all of us started like feeling their life because like a week later we was in LA. So it was like, we did everything together. It was just like, damn, look where this led us. Wait, didn't y'all do, well, I know um, Glorilla did the uh, Million Dollars for Game interview. Y'all mm -hmm. all were, were there, right? No, I that wasn't was, there. That wasn't, you wasn't uh -uh. there. I don't know where I was at. Okay. Gloss was there and yep. was the other girls there? Because I'm not familiar yeah. with faces. No, wait. I when they came to the to hood. To tell you the truth, I don't remember. You don't remember? Was Slime and Lisa. No, you talking about them? I know that a lot of her friends were there. Like, them okay. her friends, they used to be at her shows too. Okay. Like, when we was just turned up in the city rapping, like, they'll be there too. So I knew them too, like, before we had things. The one that was on the video? Yeah. It seemed like um she did a good job at like really holding it down, like yeah. not changing. Because a yeah. lot of niggas get this fame and that money and they change on, on that day ones. Leave that people behind. Yeah. It seemed mm -hmm. like she did a great job of that. That's crazy. That's fire. It's it's dope to see that in a, um like this industry where we call it fake. And like what I just seen like from us, like I think that all of us got super supportive surroundings. Like, she brought everybody 
up with her, but like everybody really was supporting her. Like that's what I'm saying. Her friends, like I knew her friends for coming to the shows. Like it was always a lot of support surrounded around. Mm -hmm. And like even like the other girls, like they got like like everybody be like supported. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it kind of be feeling like a family, cause I know they folks, then they know my folks, cause I mean we all be around each other, like cause everybody like supportive, like around mm -hmm. us. So when you got a supportive surroundings, like you got to bring them up. It be the people that be hating on you and changing on you that you got to leave behind. But when people really support you, like you got to, you know what I'm saying, keep them with you. Mm. How about you? You feel like you, you got a, a good support system behind you as well? Yeah. My family, we always been close. Even before I was going up, I had a super close family. But question, does it make it harder to climb the ladder? Because... You have this big support system. Yes. And sometimes you feel like you might have to get back sooner than you really have it. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Hell yeah. Yes. Like, they be calling me for shit. Like, it just be so much shit going on. Like, I got my own shit going on with my little cousins, you know? Like, he prone tomorrow. He know I know people with the live-ass cars. I didn't have to send them a car. Like, that shit costs. Mm. Then, like, they know my shit be fresh. Like, with my little cousin prone coming up. They want me to get their suits and shit made. Then I still got folks, you know, that don't get it like that. Like my auntie, you know, like I'm gonna make sure I take care of my folks' car chicken you know, all the time, send money. So yeah, it <clears throat> be like, damn. Let's talk about that though. Hold up. Let's not fast forward. Because what a lot of people don't know is, well, what people might not understand or know is, um, you are still independent. Exactly. <laughs> so like, it's easy to look at the fame and equate that to money when that don't always translate all the time. Yeah, like they be hearing a nigga make 10 a show. They ain't never even seen $10,000 there fast. Mm -hmm. But being an independent artist, I just had to pay for everybody to come out here. I just had to pay for these trucks, the security. I got to pay for this glam. Like, so did I really make all my money for the show? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then you still got to go put it back into your music because you still got to go shoot a music video. Then with me, when I say independent, that shit be so motherfucking for real. I still be having to contact my people to do my designs, like everything. Like you pay for every little thing. The shit that artists be having when they with labels that they don't even think about, like that shit it really like you got to pay for everything, literally. Mm -hmm. Then you got to still pay motherfuckers to work when you're not doing shit. Mm -hmm. And, and even much so, I'm thinking of it because, like, bro, you still a kid. Like, you 22. Yeah. So, like, even at that point, it's like you still, to be 22, not to really experience adulthood just yet and have so many people, like, depend on you, so to say, that got to be hard as well. Not really, because... I be, like, I be going hard, like, because I know I want to help my folks. Like, if I had it, my folks was, like, if I, like, you know, you could have it, but you ain't finna do no shit like that. Like, but I had my folks in builder houses and everything out there. Like, I own a couple of houses and had them in there. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I be knowing, like, it make me keep going. It make me chase what may seem impossible to do, but I know it's not. You just got to go do it. Mm. So it give me something to keep doing because I want to do something every day. But it do get stressful because it's like, now I got too much shit to do. Yeah. You know, it's a little too much shit going on. Yeah. But, do, 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 your, do your family, like, not your friends, but your family family, do they support it? Whereas though they try not to ask you for so yeah. much because they understand? I can say that, yo. That's okay. why I always do for my folks. Because I know if they really asking or they really... Some important, like, I be knowing, like, I right, like, they must really need it. Mm. Then, like, my old folks, who I probably be looking at for all the time, like, they took, they babysitting me when I was little. Like, mm. I don't mind. Because they ain't able no more. Hey, I'm so, just curious, because I always joke about this age thing. What's your old folks? Like, how, how old oh, is that? Oh, 70, 80, like, <laughs> all right, oh, all right, all right, oh, okay, right. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was just curious. She better say 35. Like, damn. That is a little old. Well, my bad. <laughs> like, I be thinking by the time I'm 25, I need to have my Yo, shit all the way together. Can we fix our mic? Yo, nigga. 25 kind of grown that age to me. I be like, yeah, I need to have my shit together by that age. For real. I had to ask, like, what's old folks like? Oh, 40. Damn. God damn. That's a grandma age now, 45. It's crazy. Mm -mm -mm. Appreciate you, bro. Nah, so okay. Um, 
All right. Yo, but okay, you you independent. Now I'm curious, is this by choice? Like, do you want to be independent? Um, right now I feel like I want to be independent because I don't feel like I didn't show me. Like, I feel like all of my cloud, all my momentum, everything, it came from like our wave. And that's fine and all, but it's kind of like I'm still uh my own person. And we used to always say when we was rapping together, like we feel like people gonna try to group us together. And we was, but we never was a group. You know what I'm saying? So there was a thing that we used to say all the time. Like, we don't want people to think we're a group, but we want to stick together. But that's kind of like, our, we each other secret weapon. Like, I be saying it all the time. We each other secret weapon. Because, fool, it's people, like, it's five people. So that means we get five chances to blow, like, because we going to keep rapping together. That's so funny. when she blow, we dropping with her. When she blow, we dropping with her. When she blow, we dropping with her. When she blow, Bro. we dropping with her. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we going to be so lit, like, we got to stick together. That's why I always say we each other secret weapon, but it's like, I feel like the Shabu, y'all, like, they were cool, you know. It was a real branding song, too, because everybody, like, had they, who they was on there, but I think it still made people group us together. But I like being independent because I feel like that was my song that got me lit, so that's how labels see me, mm. too. But they got to see me, like, for K-Cobb and... So, and I got the money to do it. So, it's cool. It might take a little longer, but Ron wasn't built in a day either. Oh, man. Come on. You better <laughs> talk that talk, girl. But, no, it's so, it's like the story is so dope because y'all are doing it. Right? Right. Like, before y'all got popping, y'all was like, man, we got five times to blow. So, if, yeah. if you get popping, then we going to all still do yeah. songs together. And that's that's been proven to be true. Like, uh, Gorilla still doing music with y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, wrong I one. This song just went crazy. I see y'all. Which one was it? Wrong one. He had the right game, but yeah. he just picked the wrong one. Yeah. Um, I see you did an interview on um, uh, Off the Porch. Mm -hmm. Gloss up right there with you. So it's yeah. like, I feel like the fact that y'all spoke about this so early, and now that y'all able to, like, see it come true, is dope as hell. It shows that, like, y'all really got each other back. And let me ask you this, though. And this ain't nothing like um, against your friends, but just yeah. on a personal level. When you see like uh, a Glow get signed, she got signed to CMG, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, Gloss got signed to QC, right? When you see them two get signed, and it's like you're still independent, you're still pushing. Do you does that make you anxious at all? Or at still... first I was, cause I was like, damn, like ooh, a label that'll be so lit. But I had time to sit back and learn. Mm -hmm. Like my friends don't be gatekeeping. If I be exiting, I'm like. Oh, how you do this? How you do that? Like, I know they'll tell me, you know. So, and with that being said, like, I'm, I say I'm independent, but I ain't just a hundred percent independent because you know, like, I'm still with Chopper Gang, mm -hmm. like, they're, they're my folks, and like, shots to them. So, my manager, he was like his manager, so he didn't sing the whole game too. So he be teaching me a lot about this music, like. Pops, like, for real. I call him Pops because it's like, bro, that's just like Pops. Like, mm -hmm. he even taught me so much about the music. So, I done had a lot of time to learn from my friends, from my manager, from people that work with me. Like, I done had a lot of time to learn. And I feel like I'm learning at a lit level. Like, I still like I still got a lot of momentum. I just got to put this shit in that folks' face. Like, in this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like I'm learning and I'm still lit while I'm learning. So, like, I don't got to make a quick decision. Mm. So, that's how I feel now. But at first, I was like, I wanted to go. Did it hurt, like, at first? Not really, because it was like, I said, since I met them, they always been the rappers. Mm. Like, they used to be rapping, rapping, like, putting their money into it, all that. Like, I ain't never just been no rapper, rapper. Like, I just been talented. But... I'd be shooting videos and shit, but though, because I had it. Like, I was always getting bread after her. And doing other shit, you know, just getting money. But I was always getting bread after her, for real. And so, I was shooting my videos and stuff. But it was like, I always wanted to see her. Like, that what I wanted to do, like, big and serious. So, like, when they was doing it, it did make me think, like, oh, okay, like, I got to put my music serious because everybody watching us right now. Like, they, 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 they come in, they... With the offers, they snatching us up. Like, okay, I got to take music serious. But it ain't make me feel no type of way. Because this always been what was destined for them, for real. Like, they mm. deserved it. I could feel the love that you have. Like, it's yeah, so dope. they deserved I, it. I, I do appreciate just even you being able to articulate that it was frustrating for you at a point. 
right? right. You had anxiety, like, because a lot of people wouldn't be able to acknowledge that feeling because that's a, a real feeling. Right. But the fact that you can you re recognize that, man, yeah, like, it was a time where I was like, man, I want, I want it, I want it. But then now you, you notice that, like, nah, it's going to come. You yeah, know you got to just be patient because, you know, you got to learn. Like, and I'm still young. No, so, you are. Yeah, I be thinking about that too, like. And you're such, like, I got to ask you this. Because you're such, like, a pretty young lady. Yeah. Why K Carbon? Like, that, you, you, your name, <laughs> is that the gun? Like, I, it is out. the gun. Why? I'm pretty now, but I used to be like <laughs> kind of. I used to be kind of uh this close to being a stud. Or <laughs> How close? How close was it? This <laughs> that's close as hell. She close again. Cause I still like a bad bitch, but <laughs> I ain't go that way. I got it together. I ain't go dressed Yo, like that. Um, but I'm telling you, I was a little boy. Like you said, I still like. A, Yo, you was crazy. I was a little boy. So so the name came from almost... What, where did the name come from? Like, when I did my first song, oh, God, it came from the first song I did. It was like... So, like, I'm going to be honest. Like, me and Shiesty, we was in class. But we was... Okay, we was probably skipping class. Like, he was skipping in my class, though. So I was in class. He was the one skipping. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, and we was listening to the beat, and I started freestyling on that hoe, and I was like, some hit the party, wreck the party, I snuck in with a party, and he was like, fuck it, you snuck in with a carbon, and I had like, I had to figure out what a carbon was, because I'm like, okay, a carbon, like, I knew what a 40 was, but I didn't know what a carbon was, but this when I was done, like, freestyling in school, so when I found out what it was, and then I dropped the song, and it went viral, I was like, oh, I gotta be K Carbon, like, that part stuck out mm. so bad, like, I snuck in with the carbon, and I was just like, oh, K Carbon. Cause everybody see me in school, they'll be like, "Yeah, I snuck in with the cob." And like, I tried to make that my yearbook quote, and they did not let me. I, ain't I wanted to put "I snuck in with the cob" because everybody kept saying it, like kept saying it. And so I was like, "Okay, K Carbon." I'm gonna keep it all the way hundred with you. I'm 11 years older than you. I just found out what a carbon was today. With my name? Yeah. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> Niggas like, it's a gun? I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, it's a gun. <laughs> like, what the hell? I'm glad you thought it was a gun. Somebody asked me, was I an element on a periodical table? <laughs> <laughs> Why y'all laughing? I'm like, what, bro? What is going <laughs> on, bro? This is crazy. So, okay. So, it stuck because of school. Yo, you know what I'm kidding? You know what's funny to me? Like, I get it a little bit out of y'all when I hear y'all rap. And honestly... I'm going to keep it on it. I'm going to just be honest. Forget it. I feel like... Uh, say it. <laughs> Nothing. I ain't going to say that. All right. All right. No, 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 So it's funny to me, like, the female rap nowadays. Like, it's like gangster. What you was finna say? But I see y'all be trying to talk sexy, too. Okay. Cause... I was going to say something about Glow. Because, like, Glow get, get, her, okay. get her a sexy bag. Okay. And it be like, it be throwing me off but sometimes. But she in the same boat as me. Like, this girl was like a little boy. Like, but when I met I'm her, saying. she was turned up in the club on the couch. <laughs> like, she was a little boy. Like, we be living that life, but we still like a little love. Damn. We we want to show the niggas we can. Uh, it, I ain't gonna lie. It be kind of like, you know, it's be like, I don't know. Like, confusing. But like, you, conf conflicting. Because like, y'all come out to guns, killing, bop, bop. Then it's like. Yeah, eat the pussy. Da, da, da. You gotta think nigga. about it. Like I'm from Memphis. Like I don't think you make it out of Memphis without knowing how to shoot. <laughs> like you gotta protect yourself. The girls in Memphis really be told. Like the girls in Memphis. Like I know plenty of bitches told in Memphis. Like them hoes. It don't matter that they're a girl. Mm. Like it's I'm from I'm from a city where it was it was it was crazy. So of course I'm a rap about that, but that don't mean that's just who I am. Like I'm still a girl. Like I do girl stuff. <laughs> you know. Okay, okay, okay. So I think it just be that. Like that's just in us though. Like I think it's the where, where we from. But like, I feel like we got a whole like. Group of women that's rapping about like gangster stuff we nowadays. All like it's from like the a, trenches. Yeah, it's like a lot of y'all. Like not even just like you. You got uh mellow books. Mellow books. When you Chicago. talk about that, that's the first person I think of. Mellow books. Yes, mellow books. She be rapping that real. She so fucking hard. Like <laughs> I always crazy. shout out mellow books. She I go crazy. Do. And then True. and then you even got like the New York girls. That's like with the yeah. drill. Like Scarlett. Yeah, like y'all going like. 
like, okay, I'm scared. Like, I don't know if I want to be scared or like say, hey, what's your name? Like, that's... both. <laughs> <laughs> Both. <laughs> no, no. All right, let me ask you this. Who are like, put me on game. Not naming nobody from your clique. Okay. Who's like the top five up and coming female rappers? Ugh, okay, I got to think. <laughs> uh, for you to say five and it's so many that I like right now, like. And you can't name none of your girls. Oh, uh, no, I know. It's so many that I like right now. I like Anisia, uh, Kyra Boo. How you say her name? Cause I always say somebody name wrong as fuck. Mellow Bugs, Mona Leo. Um, I seen a girl that I followed the other day, Mama Mama Million. Oh, she just dropped this song that I've been playing. I like it so much. Oh, uh, you got Black Yana, uh, Scarlet. You got uh, damn. I'm looking at her face, but can't think of her name. I be listening to her music all the time. It's, it's a girl from um, I don't know if it's Ohio or Cincinnati. Scarlet Black. She is so fire. I like her. Um, I like Mellow Bucks. Oh my, she is fire. I love that her. song she got with uh, Lotto. That's your heart. <laughs> That's nasty. She's she's a beast. Um, uh, I wouldn't say uh, what's the light skinned girl name? She went to Howard. Damn, everybody be rapping her song. Nah, she like mm, hit me flow. She got a like light voice, super light voice. I forgot her name. Skinny, super skinny. Yeah, damn. Damn, she gonna, they gonna kill me for this. Whatever, she's nice. Whatever. I don't um, know who you talking about. She in L.A. now. She she does a, like a lot of freestyles. <sighs> Damn, bro. Y'all know anybody know? No. Nah, nah. Light skin <laughs> chick. Damn, they gonna comment under. Okay, under yeah. Easy, whatever. She's super nice. Uh, who else? I like Scarlett. She's fire. I don't really know too many young ones though. Um, who else I like? I don't know, because I don't forget who I name now, but it's a lot of them out there. I be trying to stay tuned in, too, because, like, I know that I'm one of them people that always get tuned in so late, like... Lady, Lady Oh, I fuck London. with Big Boss Vet, Erica Banks, my bad. Lady I'm London. Who? That's her name. Lady London. That's her name. Lady London. Okay, oh, I love Lady she's London. She's fire. I've yeah. been watching Lady London for a minute. Yeah, that's why I said she's not really young on the come up. Uh -huh. Like, she's been doing this thing for a minute. Right. I like Vet. Big Boss Vet. Yep. I like Erica her. Banks. I like Erica Banks. So, yeah, it's a lot of them that I fuck with. Like, I just probably can't get them off off the top of my head. But, yeah, it's a lot of girls. Yo, with, I'm curious. Like, with all that's going on, especially in the female rap, we've been saying this a lot. Like, girls beefing. Okay. Um, do you get scared that, like... Scared? <laughs> of a bitch? <laughs> I'm just playing. Do I get scared of what? No, nigga. <laughs> do you get scared of, uh, like... Because, like, so many friends fall out and we see it. Like, do you get scared that you and your friends might not see eye to eye and, like, y'all might go y'all separate ways? Is that ever a mm, thought? I think, like, we pretty loyal with each other. Mm. Like, I think even if we don't see eye to eye, like, nobody will ever know. So it's, like, time to fix it. I think time, I mean, I think times where people fall out really bad like they don't get themselves time to fix it or something and say mm -hmm. for instance it hit social media then everybody got their own opinions and then you listening to people with their own opinions like it just get real catty and messy but I think we loyal with each other with enough to be like even if I don't agree like look like and still be cool like cause you grown what keep y'all so loyal you think like what we been loyal this far like we all we probably don't always agree but it's like we still ain't never been nothing that done foul to each other that we got to fall out. Like, I think people got to fall out about certain shit. Like, mm -hmm. when it's foul, 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 like, imagine if somebody steal from you, like, they done took money from you. And, like, if it's foul, foul, shiesty, dirty shit, then you got to fall out. Mm -hmm. But if it's normal shit, like, you grow home. Yeah. It don't matter. No, I, I make sense. I was just curious because, like, you see so many people that's cool. They be cool. Then mm -hmm. they get in the industry and now they beefing. And it's like... I think they be letting the people get in their head. Like, that's why you got to keep shit between y'all. Mm. No, I don't care. Yo, speaking of that, because you like hair. That's yeah. That's thing. How long you been doing the hair thing? Like four or five years. And you like a little high head, too. A who? A hot head. What you mean? Like? Firecracker. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is it true you beat somebody up for trying to take your wig? <laughs> no, they didn't try to take the wig from me. Wait, what happened? 
Hey, give me the story. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? <laughs> They took the wig from the store I said to hurry. Oh, they stole the wig? Yeah. And you saw them? Yeah. And you ran down on them? No, no. I didn't see them when they took it. I saw them, like, on the camera when they took it. And you saw them in person, though? Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did you know the person? Yeah. So, tell me the story. Don't be selfish. <laughs> what happened? You going to help me incriminate myself? What if they come looking for me? Uh, the police. They like, you did this, and then oh, they, no, no, I'm going no, to tell the police yeah, yeah, that no, I did it. No, you no, think not, so? No, we not on that. <laughs> no, no, no. I ain't, I ain't on no, uh, no Vlad. I ain't, I that, ain't, that, ain't, that, ain't the, that ain't the type job anymore. He be getting people sent to jail. I'm just playing. <laughs> Try to get the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. But yeah, that's what so, they say on the internet. I don't know. No, I'm just playing. But yeah, so <laughs> yeah. So you apparently nowadays on when we talking on the internet and on cameras, as long as you say allegedly in front of it, then you just tell me something. Okay, so go back. Let me say allegedly. Yeah. So allegedly, apparently, yeah. like the story has it, the internet has said that like somebody stole a a wig or some hair. Allegedly, yeah. allegedly, and like allegedly, like something happened. I don't know. Allegedly, allegedly, probably, <laughs> probably. What probably happened? Like what probably happened? Like right. okay, so like oh my probably. God. Okay, this is gonna be the only time that I tell the story. So this is gonna make y'all interview exclusive. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you nobody else. Right. I ain't told nobody. I'm gonna hold you to that too. I'm gonna tell you so. Bam. Allegedly, this what had happened. So, allegedly, she had went in there and, and she had went to the store and stole the weed. She probably stole the weed. We don't she know. stole some her. It wasn't even no weed. Allegedly. She, allegedly, I yeah. don't know. Well, probably. She might She might have. We don't know. Yeah. Well, yeah. Story Talk shit. Yeah, facts. <laughs> and then, allegedly, she thought I had forgot that she stole the her. And, like, allegedly, I had got Wilf a word that that she was in the place and then like allegedly I probably got the her back. <laughs> how would that go? Just curious. Like how would that go? If somebody if somebody if somebody was to come she, in your store. You just go get her back. You if, just, so, if somebody was to come in your store and steal some here, right? No, I'm past that. I don't act like that no more. I'm gonna just press charges. But no, I'm saying let's say if oh you if if somebody came and stole some hair, right? And let's just say maybe hypothetically, allegedly, maybe you seen them outside. This is maybe. Maybe. What like how would that look for them? For them? Yeah. They might not be able to see. Oh. Dang. Cause they have my piece while shit. <laughs> would you get so if they're wearing the hair, how would you get the hair? Like, like you, just ask nicely. It ain't even be it don't even be that deep. You know what I'm saying? Just ask nicely. I Can I thought, please get my wig back? And they would just give it back. Allegedly. <laughs> okay, but you know it's funny. You know how you said how close you were to liking a bad chick, or how close you were to being a boy. Okay, I feel like that's how big you are, though. Like, you what like, you mean? You only like this big. I'm little. Yeah, you like a like mini Joe, like little bit. Like what? How you know that if they had the wig that they was any much bigger than me, we could have been the same size. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> 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 I'm just playing. I mean, maybe, maybe that was the same. I mean, your name is Kate Carbon, so yeah, that would make it easy to get the hair back, right? Big Carbon, he like Mayweather. You ain't heard that song. I know you heard that song, bro. I don't listen to none of this. Young yes, shit. you know that song. I don't listen to none of this young shit. So how you know how you know our music? Because I do research when I get interviews. So like, why you don't be listening? Yeah, help me say young. I told y'all listen to Mellow Buck song. Okay. The one song? You did say that was fire. There's yeah. one brownie point. And the other, the first one though, because she got two parts. She got two songs, right? Okay. Yeah, two the first brownie one. Points. And I think you was you was on the first one. No. No. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. No, she had a lot of girls on the first one. Wasn't Who? it? The, the Mellow Bucks chick. She had a lot of girls on the first song. The first. No, that was some people from Chicago. Oh. I was yeah. on Shabuya. See? See, I, I know, I know that song. You, I got a daughter. My daughter's fourteen. You know, I know that song. Okay, man. Yeah, that. Okay, what? You got a fourteen year old? Yeah. Okay, period. You're black, don't cry. I thought you was probably like in your twenties for real. I would have gave you twenties, like. 
Why y'all laughing? Why y'all Because you say I'm old. That's basically. Because you said I say I got a four. Well, you I'm said black, no crap. She said black, no, okay. You know, Listen, I'm 22 and your daughter 14. I'm 32. <laughs> Yeah, y'all chatting. She about to say, damn. She about to say, damn. damn. No, listen. Oh. That's, that's the. <laughs> yeah, why you doing me like that? No, no, no. You see a young for real. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, let's hold up. Let's, are you serious? It got hot. It got hot. It got hot. <sighs> it got hot. All right, all right. So let's go back to being independent. Okay. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. How, how, so, like, how is how is the the, the, the space now? Where I'm we at? here, we lit. How is it? Um, I feel like right now, how I feel in my career, like in everything, I feel like I've been putting together a lot of pieces of work. Mm. Um, like everything that you can think of, like my music, my merch, like branding Kat Carbon as an artist. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. I've been doing everything on my own because, you know, I'm independent. But it be like me. It be like stuff I like and what I want to do. And I feel like now, just dropping my tape, I'm finna show everybody, like, all the stuff. Mm. You still doing the hair? Yeah. I still be selling you got hair. got the store. It's in, in Memphis. In Memphis. Right. How was, wait, how was managing, because you're a whole entrepreneur. How yeah. was managing a store in Memphis when you're not there? Um, it, it's a little easy because like the people that work there, we in good communication. Um, I got people in Memphis that help me keep it stocked and stuff and we be having good communication. So it's like, it be going, but I know like, not like if I was there, you know, cause when I'm there, it's different. Like I got everything, like I know how to manage, like, but it be going like, and it be going smooth and it be going good, but you know, you just handle your stuff a little different. What's the difference, um, if any, of being because being a rapper couldn't be an entrepreneur, but uh -huh. like, how similar is being an entrepreneur selling hair to like being a rapper and being an entrepreneur and being independent um, as a rapper? I feel like being able to rap and control my own business make me look at it like an entrepreneur standpoint because mm -hmm. I'm like, at this point, if I gotta put money back into the business, like, well, if I gotta put my own money back into the rapping, then I gotta see like. I got to look at it like a business, like what makes money and what don't. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like you got to make this. And what what's making you money is dropping music and being consistent. But that's what people want to see anyway. So, you know, but I look at it like a business more so than just being an artist. Like, I don't think about, oh, I just got to go and make a song and make my and drop my song. Like, I got to upload my song. I got to make sure my song mix and master. Like, I look at it like all the way from a business standpoint, from every angle, mm. than just rapping. So, with that being said, right? Thank you. Whatever it is. Oh, you ain't even try to damn. Okay, I'm no, not yet, not yet. I got you, I got you. My bad. Okay, the or the interview. You don't care about them. On the, what was what is it? Yo, I I gotta ask you this. And they telling me to be on the way. All right, I'm sorry. Tell them give me 15 minutes. I'm for CF. Yeah. See what I'm saying? You ever been to that, Baltimore? Baltimore, yeah. You you heard you heard about you heard about our uh, accent? Mm hmm Y'all say you too. Yeah. It's no way people think Baltimore accent is worse than Memphis. Like I feel like you have to agree that your accent is crazy. I just feel like you 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 gotta know that, right? Do it be hard for you to understand what I'm saying? I mean, like, like your interview and like music. It's worse than like me saying interview and you. No? I was asking if you can understand what I'm saying because sometimes when people got strong accents, I don't understand what they're saying. But in Maryland, I can understand what they be saying. Yeah, but I mean, we ain't talking about Maryland. We talking about Baltimore. I mean, <laughs> Baltimore, Baltimore. <laughs> you know what I meant to nah, say. Nah. Yeah, Baltimore's Baltimore. is in Maryland, but. It is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I was low-key right. 
<laughs> it's a Baltimore thing. It's a Baltimore thing. <laughs> I'm going to let you go. But no, so it's no top three worst accents you think? New York. Probably Memphis. All right. Allegedly. <laughs> Definitely. Um, Where else I didn't been like, what are they saying? Uh, I just can think of New York and Memphis right now. Because I feel like being from Baltimore, we always get... <gasps> New Orleans. Shit. Oh, yeah. New Orleans. Yeah. I can see that. I feel like in Baltimore, like being from Baltimore, everybody always talk about our accent. But when you hear somebody from Memphis, and I'm not going to make you do that because they already did that, and I ain't going to do that again. When they made Glorilla read the words, mm -hmm. oh, my gosh. You think we got a bad accent? <laughs> what it sound like? It don't Baltimore. sound like Baltimore. <laughs> it don't sound nowhere near... For real? For y'all yeah, hold y'all words. Y'all be like, you too. Like, y'all hold y'all words. Yo, music is crazy. Like, y'all hold y'all words, though. It's like y'all talk, like, like you hold your nose, like, music. Like, and I don't think I ever seen nobody from Baltimore, like, with a really, 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 like, heavy Baltimore accent. And if I have, I think it was, like, a dude in a movie, like, an old white man. <laughs> an old white man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I'm talking about? They be talking, like, like, like heavy ass up north accents like I don't know the only thing I can relate it to is like a damn movie but I don't think I ever met nobody and they talk like that mm -hmm. let's take a drink man tell me what you think okay you got the water though honest opinion it's smooth and it don't sting yeah, <laughs> I fuck with it, and it's sweet. Okay, Los Hermanos Reposado, man. Make sure y'all rock with my guys, man. I appreciate you pulling up, man. For real, this is good. Um, you can come again. Bit. We out. <laughs> we out. J Hill, J Hill podcast. K Carbon. This was it was fun, man. Y'all enjoy. Have a good one.